What's up people this is Vishal and I'm back with another video and in this video we will be uh, trying to understand the differences between the ESX syntax of uh, uh, the inheritance in JavaScript and the ES5 syntax. So in my last video I already talked about the ES5 syntax uh, uh, for inheritance and if you have not checked it out yet just click on the suggestion box go check it out first because we are going to use the same code reference for this video. So without wasting much time let's go. So in my last video, we saw that uh, we created a function called person and we created another function called teacher. And by using uh, some manipulations over, uh, over prototype keyword, we were able to uh, represent the idea of complete inheritance uh, using JavaScript. So if you have not checked, checked that video out yet, just click on the suggestion box and go check it out. And um, let's uh, try to write an equivalent of this particular code in uh, in ESX right by using the class and extends keyword so I'm going to get rid of this code and uh, let's start writing it so we'll write class so we created a class called person right and the class person was now this class will have a constructor which is going to take a name and an age so this is the same thing that we did in the last uh, video uh, in vanilla JS this is the ESX way of doing it. So in the constructor, we wrote name and age and the property is this dot name equal to name and this dot age equal to age. And it also had a function called greet. So I'll just copy paste that part. So we now the person class is ready. It has the two, two properties name and age and greet. So when I extend this person, uh, I should be able to access the name age plus I should be able to access this function right so let's create our second class called teacher which would be extending the person okay now it will have its own constructor and the constructor of teacher is going to take name age a new property subject now in my last video we saw that uh, we were initializing the name and age of the teacher by using uh, by calling person dot call but in this since we have a super function so it will be easier so we will just write name and age over here oops so that will initialize the name and age of the teacher and uh, of course this dot subject equal to subject right so this is basically the inheritance in ESX very crisp very simple to write so uh, I'm not going to execute and show because it's, it's pretty straightforward that this is going to work the same way that it, uh, the, the code was working in the last one so let's just copy the code and uh, go to our Babel js.io and we go to try it out And to do this tryout, make sure that uh, you have added the transform class plugin over here. So you can see the name here, the Babel transform class plugin. So I've added that plugin already. I'll just copy and paste my code over here. So our ES6 code is now transpiled into the ES5 code. And guess what we see over here? This is the same thing that we did in our last video, right? So we had a function which had this dot name, this dot age, and uh, object dot assign pro in the prototype we just assigned a greet function and uh, we created a teacher name age subject and we used person dot call this comma name comma age to initialize our uh, person uh, initialize the name and age of the teacher so everything is same as what we did in our last video so what this explains is es6 syntax is not doing anything extra it is exactly the same thing what uh, we did in the vanilla vanilla js and this class and extends these kind of keywords are basically just the syntax sugars they are not putting in any extra uh, value it's just that the way we are writing the code and or the number of lines that we are writing for doing the inheritance and uh, using es6 is uh, a little more or less than our vanilla js right so that's that's uh, this is uh, another uh, scratching the surface of uh, esx class i've made another video on uh, this uh, esx class uh, uh, thingy in the past so if you are interested please go and check that out as well and yeah 
so there is the ultimate conclusion is we don't have any difference so es6 syntax is just more crisp and it's basically a syntax syntactic sugar over uh, the es5 approach right another important thing that i would like to add is uh, whenever someone asks you about prototypal inheritance in uh, javascript please answer them using uh, the vanilla js uh, approach because that is the that is what they would be expecting you to know because uh, the es6 approach is pretty straightforward and uh, the es5 approach is what an, uh, an interviewer would be looking for so that's all for this one guys uh, if you have any questions or doubts about uh, this topic just drop a comment in the comment section and uh, like and share this video so that uh, it reaches the right set of people and uh, subscribe to my channel for more such concept and interesting deep dives that we do over here so see you in the next one bye